morning. It's lime time. And no, not Coronas. So the weather is fit. It is nice, it is sunny, it is dry enough, we're gonna go spread some lime. There's the chariot for the day. So this is the most I really gotta run that fence. That's dad's corn planting tractor and it runs the grain cart and usually I plant beans. I gotta say, I do like it. Frame-wise, it's basically the same as the Challenger but it has a newer interior and I, I like it. player himself says it's nice and 60 degrees in Minnesota they're doing work in the fields and stuff hey Randy you know it'd be nice if you guys got off the husk fire back up then we could all be entertained while we're doing dirt work I did see where them guys recorded a podcast kind of kind of anxious to hear that one so we're just going right down here right down here real far from the lime shed so i want to get this barn pretty much empty because it is also time to start spreading fertilizer we're going to be strip till next week before we strip till ground i'm going to broadcast spread potash on that ground and then bj is going to come in and strip till phosphorus and sulfur at a variable rate and uh yeah, I'd like to get over that ground before he does, so I'm not running over his strips. So we need to get the shed empty. That way next week we can start hauling lime. Disregard the bird poop right there, but we are scattering lime. So one thing I really love about this Pro Force is its sheer capacity. It holds a lot of lime in there. And I really like that because we're putting on a lot of lime. Right now our rate is 4,000 pounds an acre, two tons. I've got a little over 22 tons in here, so uh, we can cover some ground. That and cover with the variable rate. Uh, there's parts of this field that don't get lime. For example, we just crossed into one of those zones. If we look at this map, we can see anywhere it's blue, that's where we're going to be applying lime. I still have to fill up a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think I've filled up three times in this field. Uh, this is the first time today, but this is also the first load today. I spread part of this before Farm Machinery Show, I think. It's just the first day we've been able to spread since then. But really like the job this, this spreader does. Feels in good shape. Probably could have spread last night, but hauling 22 tons across this field, I want this field to be pretty good shape. That is one thing I do try to watch. Uh, if the field is if the field's wet, we're gonna leave tracks.
the one thing I really like about spreading with this tractor, besides the capacity of the spreader, the ride I'm getting out of these LSWs, uh, this is by far a better ride than using a three-wheeler. I'm really enjoying the ride I'm getting out of this machine. Uh, we're spreading 11 miles an hour. I'm kind of limited by what the belt can push this much product out at. That's why we're not going any faster. Uh, I start getting around 12, we start getting alarms. Uh, but uh, it definitely rides better than a three-wheeler by a long shot. So these are 1400s on the rear LSWs, and I can't remember if they're thousands on the front or 1100s. I guess I'd have to look at the look at the sidewall now. Going around the next field, steering clear of that. I do not want any of that. Gonna make a couple laps, and then we'll start going back and forth. So these fields are going to beans this year, and lime will help with both. But it seems to really help, uh, at least with us, getting uh, our bean yield up. Like I say, it'll help with both crops and definitely help with corn. Basically, this will raise our pH closer to 7. Without our pH being near 7, we really struggle with tying up nutrients, and that's what we're trying to avoid here. We want to get those nutrients in the soil and have them readily available to the crop. So to do that, we have to have a neutral soil. Closer to 7, the pH is the better. And I think this one tested out to be in like an average pH, like 5.5, so got to got to pour some lime to it. must be pretty bored. Judge Judy ain't on for a couple hours, is she? Right. I tape her faint there. Didn't quite get as much as I wanted on there. Not out. Not much at all, man. 46,000 pounds. I had 60 on it the other day. I seen you. I helped to look dinner one day and I know you had one heck of a load on it. Well, I was just going down to here, but you can kind of see there's tracks. So maybe I'm sure loaded. The old mule pulled pretty good. Oh, yeah. So you really like this? Yeah. yeah. For lime, it's pretty awesome. I'm going to spread some of the fur with it. And, uh, once I get done with the potash, the other stuff I'm spreading. I'll probably use the other one because it'll hold two products, separate products. Um, that way I only got to go to the field one time. Hey, I noticed that the wheat drill didn't shut off at the end of the road. Like the corn, beans did. Should have. You better check it. Yeah, I had some issues where it was dribbling a little bit there. Well, that one's drilled up there. You must have had a door open. Oh, up here in the field above yeah. your house? Yeah. Well, that's the uh, grain cart. That thing was dribbling beans out the bottom of the grain cart. BJ made a lap and then Dad seen him. That word, you tell me where it's dark green? Yeah. Yeah. That's the grain cart. Oh. I thought something happened to the planter. Yeah, beans getting cheaper. We're just going to use that for fertilizer. It's dark green. <laughs> <laughs> So we are just about out of lime. I'd say I'll have to go get the skid steer or maybe the little massy, sassy massy. Scrape some of the lime that's in the building away from the walls. George is going for round two. He ain't getting no purtier. That was supposed to be. So we just spread off the last of it. I told George I was going to have to go get the little sassy massy and He's got a little Kubota at his house, which is just down the driveway, so he's going to go grab it. Perfect. Save me a little bit of time. This last, though, it's just it's a little bit easier with a small tractor to get out of here. Um, I'm going to scrape what I can with the JCB, but I don't want to tear the building down, especially along the sides. That's where it gets real tricky because you can't really get too close. That's about as close as I can comfortably get. I mean, the bucket just, eh, I mean, you can get closer, but sneeze and you might tear the building down. I don't want to do that. One thing I just noticed, part of the cutting edge just broke on our puppy on the JCB. Kind of makes me wonder where that went. Hoping it's stuck in the bottom of this building somewhere. Like maybe stuck.
stuck up in feet, one of these pieces of wood. But I don't know. Good enough. Good enough to fill the fertilizer. Bad news was we didn't find the cutting edge. So every now and then people ask about old George. There he is. He's still, he's still alive and well. Well, he's alive. I don't know that he was ever well. So if you're newer to the channel, George is my uncle and he drove trucks for us till 2020 and then he retired. He still lives here on the farm and uh, yeah, I like to see him, George. Don't get to see him near as often as I should probably. So we do not have much. Ooh, we have 10,000 pounds though. That's more than I thought we'd get. I've, I figured we'd have 5,000 pounds. So I don't think we're gonna finish this field, unfortunately. It's gonna be very, very close. We got a couple, got a couple point rows down there left. You can tell this is the bottom of the barn. A little, little dry. Drier than it has been. That's for, that's for sure. So we're definitely going to run a little low. There's about, I don't know. We're probably going to be. I'd say six or seven acres short. And that's all the line we're gonna do. We're not gonna water just enough to do that. Uh, that's, that's it for the day, or for the, this year. We'll have to, have to catch it up on the next one. Make sure we turn this off. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. That's the end of this video, so do me a favor. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, all the socials at Brian's Farming Videos. And we'll see you in the next one.